Hey everyone, it's Michael and Jill from Note Folds. And uh, if you just saw our previous video, you know that we just signed up to become demonstrators. And as a little special gift, they gave us the paper pumpkin. So you can see here, congratulations yeah. on becoming a demonstrator. Mm -hmm. And Paper Pumpkin is their monthly subscription service. So yes. 1995 US dollars, you get a kit with everything together. Mm -hmm. Now we haven't opened this up yet. Mm -hmm. We thought we'd do it with you yeah. on camera. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and open this up. Let's do that. And I am familiar with the Paper Pumpkin product. Oh, look how pretty that is. Isn't that nice? So they give you this nice. Oh, that is beautiful. Thank you here for yeah. ordering. Paper Pumpkin is a nice is a nice idea for people who, um, you know, don't have a lot of space to mm -hmm. do stamping. This is an all-inclusive kit. It's got a an ink pad. It's got a set of stamps. Yep. It's got paper and envelopes. Paper's pre-cut. It's really you can nice see it's for in people this nice who tissue paper. This do not want to spend a lot of time stamping, but still enjoy it. So here's the first thing that's in here, the craft stampin' spot mm -hmm. in Whisper, Whisper White. White. That's a nice one. Okay, so I'm just mm -hmm. going to put that over to the side up there. Yes, and the, the and here's the, the stamps. The stamps that come in here are exclusively for Paper Pumpkin. You cannot mm -hmm. buy them out of the catalog, so so you want to sign up for, for the recurring monthly kits. So it looks like we've got a few different um, sentiments here with love, hello, for you, with sympathy. Oh, that's really So nice. I think I can see maybe what the theme is going to be. Yeah. This is really great, you know, just kind of mm -hmm. going through the tissue paper. Yeah, okay. I, I think also the paper pumpkin sometimes has like more generically themed stamps, so you can really do a lot with it. Chalk it up to love instructions. So take a look at that. You can see it looks like we're going to be um, using some black paper here yeah. and then using the Whisper White ink yeah. on it. Okay. So I'm going to just go ahead and move the box sure out. Thing. Yeah. Look at all this fun stuff that it comes with. And we'll put this over here. And it does come with everything you need, all the adhesive and dimensionals that you'll need. So just in case you don't have all the stuff or if you're stamping on the go. Um, right. You know, it's mm -hmm. a really great way, I think, to get introduced to Stampin' Up's products. Yes. Without investing a lot. Like you think mm -hmm. about everything that you're getting oh, yes. in this kit for 20 oh, bucks. Nice I see some banners in there. I see some nice paper. This is really so cute. Just taking off the shrink wrap here. Yeah, we're gonna see what's inside. Oh, it looks like a box or something. It's a nice ribbon. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is great. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we've got some dimensionals, as mm -hmm. Jill mentioned. Yes. Here is some super Adhesive sticky strips. adhesive. Yeah, some nice ribbon. Oh, those are banners. Those are cute. Yeah, so it looks like you'll just uh, punch these out. They've already mm -hmm. been pre-perforated there. Yes, you do not need any special Oh, two anything, different anything colors. special for this kit. It comes with everything you would possibly need. <laughs> Got some card envelopes, as mm -hmm. Jill mentioned before. Very nice. They're nice, like, uh, very vanilla. Or vanilla. Yeah, that's like Is a that really very nice color there. Something to do with vanilla. <laughs> and here's the, I mean, look at this paper with the gold. Oh, that I mean, is that really is pretty. Really nice paper. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the um, Flamingo set that they have. The Papa Pink Designer Series paper, also, that has the gold and foil embossing. Um, so we've in got the pink paper. three cards here. Yeah. Oh, aren't those beautiful? Look beautiful. At that. More gold. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Really I'm so nice. excited to use that. So that three of those. Great. Oh my gosh, it is a little box. It is a box. Yeah, look at that. Oh. So you would oh, put that together. That. We're going to have to put that together for you. <laughs> yeah, we definitely will. So it looks like we have three, three. of those as well. Yeah. Some what more a banners fun kit. in the black. This is great. I'm so excited to put it together. Okay, more, more. more things to embellish your projects. And you've got... Hmm. Let's okay. see what that is. It also so, comes with handy instructions, which is very helpful. So here's the finished product. So you mm -hmm. can see the three boxes there. Yeah. You could probably put a treat into those. Oh, yeah. The oh, three cards. How cute that three is. cards there. It's called the Chalk It Up to Love Paper Pumpkin Set. And it does tell you that you can go to their website to mm -hmm. watch a quick video on how to make this project. Yeah. But we're actually going to put it together for you mm -hmm. right now. We're going to start with the hello card here on the front. This is a really easy one to get started with. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to need, of course, is your ink. You're going to need kind of this uh, cloud looking stamp, Yeah. which I've already inked, and the hello stamp. And you'll notice that I've put these onto clear uh, acrylic blocks. The kit does not actually come with those blocks. So you'll either need to have the Stampin' Up! ones. This is block C and block A, or you can use another um, acrylic block that you might have. Yes. I'm also gonna use this banner or mm -hmm. this uh, label here and the vanilla banner. And then we've got our dimensionals. So let's go ahead and start. Now I've already pre-inked this. 
-hmm. So we're just going to put it right in the center of our label. Yes. And uh, I'd like to make an amendment to what I said before. If you're traveling on the road with your paper pumpkin kit, you will want to go ahead and bring your Stampin' Up! <laughs> um, blocks so you can stamp more easily. So now that's stamped, and we're going to just put the hello that right in the center. Card. You can see how quickly that's coming together. It's, this is nice because like you can kind of, without saying mass produce, you can mass produce some of you them can, Yeah, you can quickly, quickly get some mm -hmm. cards put together. So yes. for the banner, we're just going to take some of these dimensionals. Yes. I just love that gold paper. It is so cute and so reminiscent of the Papa Pink designer series paper that they have in the current catalog. Mm -hmm. So we'll just put four on this here. I think that should be good. Keep it up, keep it from sinking. Yeah, you know, and the reason that you use dimensionals if you're new to stamping is it just gives your card a bit more, well, dimension. Yes, kind of makes it pop off the page. It's really nice. That's a nice, easy effect. And you think about this card, it has so few elements mm -hmm. that doing this really makes it interesting. So I'm gonna put it just below maybe that fourth line there. Yeah, I think that looks really uh, nice there. And just roughly centered, that looks pretty good. It looks great. Okay, and then I we're going to put that. dimensionals on the back of... The way that that ink stamped on there looks like chalk almost. Yeah, and this so set cute. is called the Chalk, chalk It Up, up. Mm -hmm. to Love Instructions. Yes. Or Chalk It Up to Love set. So we'll just do three on this one. I think that's plenty. Mm -hmm. That is so adorable. I haven't ever used a craft subscription box service before, and this is really nice compilation. It is. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, looks look good. how cute. And, and of we'll course, make sure that. your card is facing up your card base. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's down. Easy and peasy. And the last thing to do is just fold it in half, and it already is pre-scored. Pre that is so which nice. Makes no it very guesswork. Easy. No guesswork at all. There you all. go. And now you just write your sentiment on the inside. Just put it in the envelope. And take one of the vanilla envelopes, and you're done. How beautiful. What a nice, easy way to keep in touch. Next up, we're going to do the pink card here. That is so cute. I love that paper. Now, instead of doing the with sympathy, I'm going to do the with love. Mm -hmm. oh, and I've got that one. on block H. And then this little uh, curly Q type thing. Again, that's on block A. And we'll put that onto one of the different mm -hmm. tags. You can see how versatile this set is. You can really do a lot with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that script. That is so nice. It turned out really good. Yeah. And then we'll just kind of put that right in the center below it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, perfect. That is so cute. Now, I, I, already put, I already put the dimensionals on the back of the banner. Mm -hmm. Same idea as the other card we made. And we'll put that Line it up. roughly in the center. <laughs> perfect. And I only used three there, you saw. So, yeah. um, you know, you, really can, is plenty. you can really kind of experiment with how many exactly do I need. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just use two. Mm -hmm. This and is a can, bit smaller of a... You could also use the adhesive strips that come with it as well. Actually, I think the adhesive strips are going to be used for our box. Oh, never mind. Scratch that, people. <laughs> I looked a little bit ahead in the ah. instruction book and I saw that they were used there. Okay, and so we'll get that lined up in the center. Cute, 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 Perfect. cute. Now all that's left to do, fold it in half on that pre-scored oh line. Oh my gosh. I mean, look how quickly that came together. Two seconds. Now you can do a lot more with it. Of course, you can embellish it more if you'd like, but you can see just doing what comes right out of the yeah. kit, you can really get I a nice like card I right like away. that a lot. And like the paper is like really good quality. I mean, it's stamping it up, so you know you're going to get good, good mm -hmm. products. The fact mm -hmm. that it's gold foil, I think, is really good. Really great. nice, yeah. This is a great kit. Okay, so let's do the last project, which is the box. Yeah. And lastly here, what we've got is the treat box. Yes, I think this is going to be my favorite, favorite of the three projects that comes in this paper pumpkin now, kit for this month. This is month. definitely the more complex one. We're going to so start cute. with the easy piece that you already know how to do. Yes. So I've got the 4U here on block C. Yes, the uh, sentiment makes a lot of sense if you're uh, putting a little treat box together. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to stamp this closer to the edge. And the reason for that is you saw in the picture some of this tag is going to be covered by yes. your flower. And then I've got this larger curly Q mm -hmm. here on block G. You know, I really like that Stampin' Up! does the photopolymer stamps because you can see exactly where you're stamping. I mean, there is no guesswork involved here. You can see exactly where it's going on like a wood block or mm -hmm. the red rubber stamps. So I'm just going to stamp it again on top. Oh, hey, now look at you. So cute. 
Oh my gosh, that's Looks adorable. Great. Yes. So let's put it to the side here so that it can dry. Mm -hmm. Keep that in frame for you. Yes. So the next thing that we're going to do is put the box together. Mm -hmm. So here it is. It's already pre-scored. You can that see. That is really nice. So all you have to do is just fold it on the score lines. Wow. And you can see, I mean, it's coming together. Easy, easy. Very easily. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful box. That was a beautiful, and the paper that it's, that it's got the gold foil on there, really nice. So here's the bottom and we're just going to tuck this piece right under. Aha. Uh -huh. Just like that. Wow. There you go, your box is together and then on top, just put the lid in and well, obviously you put maybe like a candy bar in there or something. <laughs> some treats. Some kind of treat or whatever. So there you go, your box is together. You wow. saw how quickly it came together, literally how just a few cute. seconds. How cute is that? I love so that. So we're gonna put that to the side. Mm -hmm. Now for the building the flower, I've already taken um, three of these. Two of them I've already kind of curled the edges and how they recommend you do that is take a pencil, not mm -hmm. included, <laughs> not in the kit, no and pencil just in the kit. roll the petals over the pencil and that'll give it that nice easy, easy. curl effect. Mm -hmm. And I noticed you put Stampin' Up uh, Dimensionals on the back of those, so. Yes, I'm gonna show that here in just one second. Yes, that is great. Oh, look how cute. So it yeah, really on the light. back, we've got the dimensionals. So let me uh, take the backing off of one of them. Mm -hmm. Then we'll take the other. Now we're gonna put it in. Oh, kind of catty Kind of at an angle. Yeah. So that you can build your flower as you go. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay, so we'll take off the next one. Okay. And then we'll put this one in and we'll kind of put this in at an angle as well. Boy, oh boy, three layers, how pretty. Now I've got one on here. I'm not gonna take that off yet because we're actually going to mm -hmm. adhere that to the box. So we'll get there in a second. So the next thing that we need to do is take this fringe. So you can see you've got that fringe there and we're going to curl that with a pencil. Oh, wow. So just grab the edge here. Mm -hmm. I like that. And we're not gonna curl it all the way down, just the top part of the fringe. Okay, so. Very cute. Maybe a quarter inch down, mm -hmm. looks if, about. If, uh, if you don't have any fringe, Stampin' Up! sells fringe scissors that you can use to yes, make. Yes, yes they do. Mm -hmm. They've got a tool for everything. They and that's do. what's great is you could actually recreate these cards. Absolutely. You know, with the stuff that they have. Mm -hmm. Now, with yes, the, the stamp set is exclusive. Yes. But uh, I'm sure you could find something that would work. I'm sure. It's a large catalog with lots of products. Okay. So. Oh, isn't that cute? That's curled. Mm -hmm. The next thing we're going to do is we've got some of this adhesive. So we're going to take a strip of it. Oh, look at that. Easy. Take one strip. And we'll place it on the end here, just like that, right down at the edge. Wow. And we will take it off, the adhesive off. Yeah, the backing. Yes, just the backing, leave the adhesive off. Yes. So we're gonna start over here, the non-adhesive end, and we're just gonna start <gasps> rolling it up. Oh my gosh. Just start rolling that up. Wow. And it's naturally Magic gonna build. Kind of hard to see there with the black paper but uh, it's really just coming together. That is great. And then of course, once we get to the adhesive part, that's what's gonna hold uh -huh. the whole thing together. Oh, so here there we it go. goes. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Coming together. Try to keep that bottom edge straight as you go. <laughs> that right there is a talent all in itself. Yes, that could definitely be a challenge. Okay, so there we go. Now you've got <laughs> oh, your fringe. look at that. Kind of pull that apart there. Loosen it up. You can kind of see. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so now we're going to take a dimensional and put that right in the center there. Like oh, that. I was wondering what it was going to... Yeah, me too. I was like, huh, how's this going to stick in there? <laughs> but we take that dimensional. Oh, easy, easy. Put that right into the center of the flower. Wow. And we can kind of start pulling this out. What a cool way to make the center of a flower. Fluff up the flower a little bit so that it kind of all is Fluff coming together. Wow. Okay, so we've got that together. We've got our box together. The last thing to do is we're going to take our ribbon and we're going to put that on. So we're going to put um, the adhesive on one end of the ribbon. So I've got another strip of that adhesive. Yes. I'm going to put it onto one end. Now this piece of ribbon was cut to 21 inches. It did not come cut. It was just one long piece of ribbon. So you'll need to cut it down 
to 21 inches mm -hmm. to fit on your box. Yes. And all you have to do is wrap it around your box. So I'm gonna just take my lid off here. Um, oh, actually, no, it needs to go around the top of the lid. So we're going to turn it over, there we go. And we'll put one end down here, and then we're gonna wrap this end around. So obviously you'd wanna make sure to put your treat in there first, because they're gonna slide the ribbon off. Yes, I see. But we're going to expose the adhesive there. So we're gonna put this ribbon around in the center. And you know, you don't wanna make it too tight. They gotta be able to slide it off. Get to the goodies. Yes, that's right. So just put it like that. There Adorbs. you go. And the last thing to wow. do is, well, actually we got one more thing to do after this. <laughs> um, we actually need to put our sentiment on. This is a very easy project, I have to say. It came together very nice. It did. Only took a couple so minutes. So just a little bit of a dimensional there. Wow. And I'll kind of put that at an angle on my ribbon. Love it. And then finally, Yay. put my flower on. Just so like that. Cute. And there it is. Now obviously you can kind of fluff these up a little bit more, give them some more dimension. We were just trying to quickly show you how it comes together. Yes. So that was the Last box. Of the three. Mm -hmm. Here's the with love card. Yes, and I'm working on. And then finally, we've got the hello card here. I already put it into an envelope, but yeah. let's go ahead and take that out so that you can see it. So that's everything that came in that mm -hmm. paper pumpkin box. Uh, really interesting kit, very cool. Mm -hmm. Very easy stuff. It took about, about nine minutes to make all three yeah. projects. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you know, you can see that you actually do get a lot mm -hmm. for $20. Yeah, and this is really nice. It's something, something to do with friends, little girls night or mm -hmm. guys night, if, uh, if you've got some creative guys in your life. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. you could put these together you know, the with love card and the box, it's perfect. You yeah. know, you've got a nice set there for, uh, for a nice gift. For a nice gift. So that's all we got for you today with the paper pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Remember, if you want to order anything that you saw here, you can go to our Stampin' Up! website, mm -hmm. Stampin' Up! Uh, Notefolds.stampinup.net. Yes. And make sure that you like our video if you liked it. Hit subscribe so you can see all of our other videos. And until next time, we'll see you later.